Hi, I'm Wayne, and this is Bastoil Woodworking. In front of me, I have some walnut, some maple, and some purple heart. And in the next couple of days, I'm going to turn this into a bass guitar. I began by cutting down a piece of walnut and purple heart for the body of the base. I ripped the walnut slab in half and then ripped a strip off of the piece of purple heart. The offcut will be used to make the fretboard. I processed the walnut and purple heart through the thickness planer until they were just over 1 and 3 quarter inches thick. When glued, this slab will be too wide to process through my thickness planer, so I decided to use dowels to help with alignment. This will ensure that my glue joint stays even and should save me from spending a lot of time flattening the surface. The dowels also give me the added benefit of reinforcing the glue joint. With my dowels all drilled, I applied a lot of glue and knocked everything together with a wooden mallet before clamping it all tight and allowing it about 26 hours to fully dry. While the body dried, I set to work on the neck. I transferred the stencil onto the slab of maple that will comprise the neck and headed over to the bandsaw to cut out the rough shape. This was really slow going and after a couple of cuts I decided to rethink my order of operations. I realized that I should have processed the maple to its final thickness before cutting to the template, so I decided to head back to the thickness planer and process the bore to about one and a half inches. I also decided that it'd be a good idea to get the fretboard cut and processed to its final thickness while I had everything out and accessible. So I resawed the cutoff chunk of Purple Heart and sent it through the planer until it was just over a quarter of an inch thick. This planer does not do well with really thin stock, so I attached the Purple Heart to a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood to act as a sled. Have you ever been just laying on your table saw and just wished you could have some Bastard Woodworking March? Well now you can, just go to bastardwoodworking.com. It's a great way to support the channel and you get some cool merch out of it. Now um, let's get back to the video. Again, realizing I was going about things in the wrong order, I decided to route the channels for the truss rod and the graphite stiffening rods. This would have been much easier to do prior to the first cuts on the bandsaw, but I had to make it work. I set up a piece of plywood on the face of my bench to be level with the maple neck and then I just had to set the center line of the neck parallel to that plywood fence. I could then route the three channels required. The end of the truss rod is slightly wider and thicker than the rest of the rod, so I had to notch out the end using a chisel. With the channels cut in the neck, I could head back to the bandsaw and cut as close to the line as possible before cleaning it up at the router. I used masking tape and super glue to attach my routing template to the neck. I used a flesh trim bit in my router table to cut the neck to match the template. I took little bites at a time being extra careful on the corners and the end grain. It was time to get everything mounted in the neck. I mixed some 5 minute epoxy to secure the graphite rods and liberally applied it to both channels. I taped off the truss rod channel to make sure that no epoxy could seep in there. I then inserted the graphite rods and gave it time to dry. Once the epoxy was dried, I decided to drill the hole that will allow me access to the truss rod nut. And for this, I chose to use my pocket hole jig for the first time on this channel. 
I then drilled the holes in the neck for the machine heads. I could then install the truss rod and again tape it off while I applied a lot of wood glue to secure the fretboard to the neck. I used a lot of clamps and set the neck aside for about a day to fully dry. Hi, Future Wayne here. I'm editing the video you are watching right now, and it's starting to get a little bit on the long side, so I'm going to cut it here and we'll pick up where we left off in the next video. But thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you.